Welcome back to Darkwood. We're here at the beginning of uh, day 19, day 20. I, I'm not even really keeping count anymore. But it is time to head to the Old Woods. So I'm going to try to make a beeline just straight for the Old Woods hideout, because I don't want to be caught out after dark, of course. So I'm packing accordingly. A new zone, probably going to be more dangerous. And I've got to pack for a new place. Something of note... When I woke up here, see this on the ground? Why are there pig heads and blood on the ground where I woke up? I woke up like right here, it's like centered right around me. What the hell is that about? Consequence of killing the sow, I guess. Anyway. Let's do a little bit of trading. I've uh, already prepped a lot of stuff, so I'm going to bring some alcohol with me to hopefully use with the bike man to transfer all my stuff over. Which reminds me, I need to grab the bike bell itself so I can actually call them. Um, just got my standard stuff up here. Uh, but down here, I'm going to bring some gas and some boards and some nails to make sure I can fortify the place. Hopefully, I shouldn't have to if the bike man can come and help me out, but just in case. I should be able to survive the night with this stuff. Let's just sell this stuff. Just some junk. Um, so I have quite a lot of reputation with them. I was thinking, what's, you know, what do I want to make? And I'm thinking... I'm not exactly sure. Maybe the axe, but the thing is I can't actually make it until I upgrade my workbench. I'm pretty happy with the pistol, so I don't feel like I need to make a shotgun. So I think I'm actually just going to buy this piece of fabric and upgrade my inventory. Oh, we can't upgrade our inventory anymore. This is the max size. I can only do the hotbar. Alright then. Well, that kind of sucks. That just gives us one space, and I don't really need more hotbar space. Yeah. Alright then. Um, right, the bell, bike bell. Okay. I think we're ready. Power is off. Okay, to leave this place. Yeah. Let's go, straight north. Mushroom man. Oh, we got a dog. Oh. I'm not confident I can walk past them. I think I'm... Oh, and it starts raining right before I try to throw a Molotov. Well, we're gonna try it anyway. Whoa. Oh, oh. Ah. That wasn't a burster, that was... I forgot what those are called. Chomper. Of course it has to be raining on my trek over here. Oh! Oh! Damn, they take a lot of shots. Wow. It's so dark. 
Let me put on my lantern. Uh, this pathway's going left. Do I really want to follow it? It'll probably lead to the Old Woods hideout, though, right? Or not. Handgun frame. Oh, there's some really good stuff. Okay. Let's just head, like, northeast, I guess, into the forest. own old woods already seems just much better is that a person what is that No idea what that is. I'm gonna ignore that wood pile. Alright. Oh, oh. Not coming after me. Good. Shot and ran. All right. Not gonna pursue. I heard a dog. Is this a cemetery? Oh, 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 oh. Oh shit. Damn it. Runner. Run. There's my one-shot shotgun. Reload pistol. Reload, 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 reload. Okay, I seem to have gotten away from the other one. Good. Those things are s terrifying and strong and fast and oh. Oh, it looks like you shoot the uh, the barrels of this thing individually. Good, so I've got one shot left. I want to be out of this damn rain and in the hideout like right now. Bad noises. Ugh. So many candles, so many flowers. Oh, is that- that's the church. From the vision. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, thank God it stopped raining. Thank God. <laughs> it's a blessing. I can think again. I've only got one more mag after this one. That's almost out. I've got two shots left, I think. Damn. 
I was gonna bring extra ammo and then I decided not to. Apparently that was a bad idea. Uh, I'm not gonna bother disarming that. I don't think I have anything to stack with it. No. I'm not gonna disarm that. Just get to the shelter. Get to the shelter. Get the hideout. Is this the path to it? I think so. Yes! Here's the hideout. Let's build the well. Yeah, we can use that to heal. Okay, what do we got to work with? Wait, this is the hideout, right? Yeah. How come I'm not getting the hideout effect on the top left of the screen, though? Ooh, it's got lots of lights. I'm just going to fill this thing all the way up. I feel like I should search this place, because it seems creepy. It's a note. Note? Desertion 1. Who the hell are they assigning to us? Masiek? Fucked off from the shack. The whole night he was rambling about some Merrick. I think it's his younger brother or son. I don't know if it was the boredom or the stress that got to him, but it was fucking unbearable. It was third night in a row. We try to silence him, but it's fucking Masiek. Better not risk it. I slid inside my sleeping bag and zipped it shut. I preferred to suffocate in my own stench than listen to that fuckhead go on and on about it. After a while, I realized Mossiak is not there anymore. He left around morning. He took all his equipment, three liters of water, a sleeping bag, radio, gun, gasoline, flamethrower, and his beloved spitter, and his lucky stone. He only left the hazard suit. We're debating on whether to report this. No one's crazy about running around the woods looking for a psycho with a flamethrower. <laughs> Hope he doesn't come back at night. Ugh. We reported it. They're sending three men to search for him. We're coming back through the tunnel. Huh, so are these people sent to... Um, are these military people sent to... fight back against whatever this is? The tunnel. The tunnel sounds like the way in and out of this zone. Also, it sounds like there's a, possibly a hazard suit left somewhere here. Interesting. You know, it's too creepy dark here. I'm going to waste a bit of fuel and just turn this on. Oh, I need to turn on the uh, stove, right? Light it? Yeah, light the oven and that turns on the protective effect. It's lit again. Good. Alright, let's dump all this meat. Efficiency? 16. Oh, 240 essence. My god. That is amazing. Okay, now we're protected. Oh. oh! Oh, fuck, that scared me. Damn it. It's gonna hurt quite a bit. Wish I didn't drink from the well now. I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna protect this place. A lot of doors. A lot of doors. Oh, I should use the bike bell right now. Yeah. Are 
directly out front, maybe? Where are you at, bike man? Or are they even here? Oh. Ah, oh, there they are. Whoa. Bad noises. Show you the alcohol. Nod. Which hideout? Take it from the Silent Forest. Okay. So gotta keep a lookout for that package. The one that I missed before. So is this not a doorway? This whatever this is is like totally broken and it's rubble, but it looks like it's nothing I can repair, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh, welder. I can use the welder to get to the next level of the workbench, or can I? No, it doesn't take a welder, it takes something else. Gentleman's Magazine. Men's Magazine, this year's issue. 1987. It's all messed up. <laughs> okay, let me do some inventory management. Okay, I managed to touch the one other mushroom that was in the house and get poisoned again. <laughs> Let's just make a simple bandage. Let's not take a pill. Ugh. I hope the bike man gets back soon, because I don't have much more ammo. But I had at least two magazines left back at the other place. I should have taken them. Oh. Oh, never mind. That's not all the mushroom. There's some more. Ah, small caliber magazine. Yes! Weapon parts. Oh, man. This place is just full of loot. Destroy generator. There used to be two jennies. Uh, uh, let's cook. Let's cook it. Let's dump the stuff here, though. These are glowing. Looks like they're worth more. Yeah, I want to cut out like some of the inventory management stuff, but since we're at a new hideout, I kind of want to show you what kind of stuff it provides and what I need to do to fix it up, so I guess I won't cut too much out. Oh, we're six away from the next dose. So close. I'm just scared that, like, the package is already delivered and I'm just missing it, because it was so hard to see before and there was no fanfare when it came. How do I know? Where could it be? Alright. Let's start fixing stuff. So that's the Jenny room. It, there's no door or anything there. Yeah, this is just... There's nothing I can do to block this. There's no point in blocking any of this. I guess I should just bear... Where should I barricade myself? That's always open. I can't fix that. This is always open. Can't fix that. I want somewhere where there's plenty of room. Somewhere like, I mean, here would be kind of good. Because there's lots of room to, you know, shoot them. from, And they can only come from two directions. It's pretty nice. But I can't fix that. Oh, so many things I can't fix. This place is hell to defend. Just look outside for the package real quick. I need to start repairing stuff real soon. Don't have any gas on me. Got some back here, but eh. Alright, let's barricade this. I 
I guess just start barricading? I don't know. I do intend to stay somewhere in this hallway. It seems like kind of the best thing. I think I can barricade two more things. Uh, I can repair that doorway. That would be very good. Repairing takes more than uh, barricading. So I don't think I can barricade it now, can I? Whoop. Nope. Need more boards. Can make a lantern. Yeah, I'm missing so many of my crafting ingredients. I do have these flares, though. Oh, I've got a little bit of a lantern left. Good. All right, let's go chop up some wood. Ah, oh, right. Shit. <laughs> I gotta go all the way around. Let's not chop up some wood. It's not that long until dark. Let's get everything ready that I want ready. Gun, gun. Do I have any Molotovs at all? Or did I use- oh shit, I used them all. Oh, this is just an open hole. Oh no, I can't repair that either. Fuck me. Got a feeling this is gonna be a rough night. Shit. Don't suppose you've dropped off the package? I don't see anything. But I missed it before. Looks like there's only one movable light, and it's over there. Well, shit, I want it. I also think I'm gonna put this in the hole, I guess. Can't hurt. The gaping hole. I don't think there's any way to make this place completely secure. I define secure as being able to be somewhere where nothing can get in without having to break down. Um, a barricade? I don't think that's possible here, really. Unless you stay in a tiny room, but then if it does break it down, you don't have much room to, you know, to fire. Okay. Gun, gun. No Molotovs. I can't spend time dragging this. It's already nighttime, they're coming. Okay. We shall wait. Right here. I want flares. What was that noise? Oh. Oh, I think they just took out two. Oh. Thank God, because that pistol <laughs> would not have done very well against them. I need to make a shotgun. That is becoming obvious. Got the meat. Uh, I can't cook during the night, though, right? Yeah, you can. Okay, I've got this mag loaded, plus one more. Two big dogs during the night at the same time. That is brutal. Take a sip of my coffee. Try not to shit myself. Yeah. Flares. 
flares aren't exactly precious, so I'm gonna throw more. That's one of the chompers. Okay, we should be fine. We can take them. Came with matches. Interesting. What's that? hell is that? Sounds like a heartbeat. Oh my god. Oh my god. This place is scary. I thought the sign in the forest was bad. Oh, there's the package. Alright. Whew. I need to make some more weapons and I need to make a lot of ammo. Okay. Well, now I can breathe a little bit. It's a new day. Time has stopped. I've got all my stuff. And it is a lot of stuff. I think I'll end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. In the next episode, I'm going to get all my stuff together, fortify this place a bit better, see where to go from here, and then start to explore.